Jacob Davis has had 16 birthdays. He's also had almost 30 surgeries. During his time in the hospital, he was comforted by furry friends, by dogs who would come to visit and lift his spirits. And dogs have a way of doing that, you know. So when it came time to think of a project to earn his Eagle Scout a badge, Jacob had the perfect way to return that unconditional love. On your side's Abigail Curran has his, has his inspirational story of perseverance and strength. Who's a big boy? Who's a big boy? I've had 27 surgeries. That's where I'd spent most of my life in my hospitals. Jacob Davis has a very rare medical condition. It's something he doesn't like to focus on. So I had therapy dogs and service dogs come and visit me over time. And so I realized what I loved was the dogs and being able to meet different dogs over time. And so that's kind of what led me to where I am today. This is Bear. Carolyn Snowden runs the Jacksonville Dog Cafe. They partner with other animal rescues to pair adoptable dogs from different rescues with new families. Jacob uh, reached out to me to investigate how to achieve his goal of the supply drive and contacting the rescue. So I helped identify certain rescues that might be in need of supplies and um, he took it from there. And we took their wish list and literally got every single item they asked for and then we used her truck to help give everything back to all the organizations in need. Jacob raised $6,500 to help buy the supplies needed for six rescue organizations. They were all super excited and super thankful for everything we'd given them because what we gave them in one day is, may equal up to more than what they get in an entire year. His animal supply drive was so successful, he decided to do it again this year. This time, he raised another $3,000 worth of supplies for four organizations. I thought it was pretty remarkable. It's crazy what people would do. Like, I had people donate that I've never met before, people on the different other side of the country. I had people, I'm like, I had the glass from I'm like, hey, can you look these people up on Facebook? Because I have no clue who they are. Jacob wants you to feel like you can help too. You don't have to do anything big. You can just do small stuff from like helping out with a local rescue or organization just work there for two, three hours just to help out. You don't necessarily have to do the biggest thing to create an impact. In Jacksonville, Abigail Curran, First Coast News on your side. Way to go, Jacob, inspiring so many people. And the dog in that story is named Bear. He's available for adoption through Camp Critter. So if you want to learn more about Bear and the organizations Jacob is helping, just head to our website, firstcoastnews.com.